We're all excited about the iPhone 8. The whole world is excited. But why? While there's no doubt Apple has something extremely special cooking up in the kitchen, otherwise why would it appoint a cook for a CEO? Do we really know what's going to be so great about it? We mean, obviously Apple hasn't given us an iPhone that looks genuinely new and different from that breakthrough mental slate it unleashed back in 2014, and with the iPhone 8 rumored to finally shake things up dramatically. Both media and consumers are gobbling up every new piece of render or leak as soon as it gets out of the oven. But, let's stop for a moment and think about the top 8 features we expect for the iPhone 8. First things first, an all new design. While Apple will probably also unveil the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus with minimal external updates compared to the current 7 and 7 Plus. The luxurious iPhone 8 is said to have a completely different body and an edge-to-edge -edge display, similar to that of the Galaxy S8, but possibly with an even more extreme infinity effect. Not only will this radically change the feel of using an iPhone, it'll undoubtedly usher in a new era for smartphone design. Just like the better part of the industry converged on the clean, all-metal styling introduced by the iPhone 6 in the years following its release, it's to be expected that the iPhone 8 will come to inspire other phone makers to follow and bring elements of its breakthrough design to other market segments. It's going to be a big deal. Whether this feature will indeed make a debut on the iPhone 8 is still up in the air, but we sure hope so. Apple has been trying to come up with a way to install the fingerprint scanner behind the screen itself. Why? Because with an all-screen front, there just isn't any physical place to put the scanner. Dummy. However, industry sources over the months have informed us that it's apparently a pretty tough job to come up with a hidden fingerprint scanner that is both reliable enough and easy to manufacture in the astronomical quantities that Apple needs. At the end of the day, this is going to be a fantastic piece of technology that we'd definitely prefer to any other possible fingerprint scanner placement, such as on the side or, God forbid, on the back. Yes. Apple's iPhone 7 Plus already has a dual camera, but the iPhone 8 will be the first iPhone of reasonable size to have this premium feature. The iPhone 8 is expected to be just slightly bigger than the current iPhone 7, making it a way more pocket-friendly handset than the massive slate that the 7 Plus is. We still don't know if the new dual camera will have any new photography-centric features, similar to the must-have portrait mode. But it is rumored that Apple might use this advanced imaging setup to enhance the phone's AR, augmented reality, capabilities, something the company has expressed interest in on multiple occasions. With each new iPhone, Apple comes up with a new iteration of its own A series chipsets. The A10 that's currently in the iPhone 7 is an industry leading piece of silicon that enables the iPhone's extremely fast and fluid operation. With the iPhone 8, as well as the 7S and 7S Plus, we are naturally expecting to see the new A11 system chip, and as always, this should bring another noticeable bump in performance. Apple's iOS platform is becoming increasingly complex and advanced, both functionally and visually, so don't worry, the performance and power efficiency benefits of the new chip won't go to waste. To be honest, wireless charging is not a new feature for the industry. But it's still having trouble truly taking off, and has actually seen some crappy implementations throughout the years. Now, rumor has it Apple is working to introduce its own take on wireless charging with the iPhone 8, and if this is indeed so, we can expect the first truly effortless and successful implementation of this technology in mobile. Also, it won't be surprising if more and more manufacturers decide to jump on the wireless charging bandwagon following the iPhone 8's release. Exactly how it's going to work, though, and if the charging station is going to look like something one'd happily keep on their desk all the time, remains a mystery for now. Shady sources familiar with the matter have stated that Apple is looking to utilize a special new type of L-shaped battery for expanded capacity. This seems to be quite different from all the current batteries used in smartphones, which have the shape of a simple rectangle. News just broke that LG Chem, LG's battery division has secured the rights to be the exclusive supplier of L-shaped batteries for 2018's iPhone 9, but we've been hearing since May that the iPhone 8 might also take advantage of this technology.
the increased capacity, said to be about 30 percent, may not directly translate to 30 percent better battery life though. The new AMOLED display, as well as some of the other cutting-edge tech found under the hood may quickly eat through the added power reserve. However, some sources say we may still expect the iPhone 8's battery life to be similar to that of the iPhone 7 Plus, rather than the iPhone 7, which sounds like a great deal to us. One its iPad Pro tablets, Apple has a remarkable feature called True Tone Display. What it does is it allows the device to automatically adjust the display's color tones according to the environment you are viewing it. This way, the display's color properties should always look natural and correct. There was much speculation before the iPhone 7 launched that Apple is going to put the tech there, but this didn't happen. Now, word is the iPhone 8 will be the first iPhone to adopt this feature. It still isn't clear if the iPhone 7s and 7s Plus have a chance of getting it as well. Here's the thing, the iPhone 8 features we went through now all sound phenomenal, but there's probably going to be much more to make the iPhone 8 special. The all-screen design. The innovative battery, wireless charging, these is all mostly hardware stuff. But think about it, if the iPhone 8 indeed loses the physical home button, this alone may lead to tremendous software experience changes with iOS. And what about the supposed AR capabilities Apple's developing? How are those going to interact with the rest of the experience? Plus, as cool as all of this sounds, we're certain that Apple has made sure to concoct at least a couple of exclusive user interface features for the iPhone 8 to further differentiate it and lure consumers into splurging on it. Well, whatever the secret ingredients happen to be in Apple's recipe, this is one dish that we just can't wait to sink our teeth in. For the last several years, Apple has released its iPhone updates in September. So we expect to see that a new lineup unveiled in September of 2017, but there have been many rumors pointing towards launch delays and supply shortages. Several analysts predicting prices upwards of $1,000 and labeling the device as premium. What features do you expect the most for the iPhone 8? Tell us in comments. To discover more iPhone and Apple related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.